What's going on everybody and welcome back to Exploring Investments with Justin. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a requested stock analysis on Menlo Therapeutics. So this was a request from a previous video. So I do wanna go ahead and give you a quick five minute stock analysis on this company. Now I don't usually cover pharmaceutical companies because I don't really know too much about that industry. So bear with me as I go through this. So let's jump right into it. So looking at Menlo Therapeutics mission statement, they are a pharmaceutical company that is looking to improve the lives of their patients by developing proprietary, innovative, and differentiated therapies in dermatology. So essentially they make products that are used to treat different skin conditions. And if we quickly look at their stock price right now, they are trading at around $2 a share and currently have a market cap of just about $350 million. Now they did IPO in 2018 at about $28 and have basically fallen off a cliff since then, but there is some good news because I do think this stock is trading at a pretty good valuation given the growth opportunities I'm seeing in this company. So before we dive into their products, I do wanna take a look at their balance sheet because it's actually not that bad. So their most recent SEC filing from Q1 of this year shows that they have about $58 million in cash and total assets of just over $160 million with only about $91 million in total liabilities. So at the current market cap, that means they have almost half their market cap in total assets, which is pretty dang good. Now the downside of the financials is that they did take a loss of about $40 million in Q1, but a good chunk of this came from research and development for their new treatment drugs that we'll go into next. And I do believe that from the market opportunity they have with these treatments, they will definitely make up this loss moving into the future. So turning to what they actually do, their two major products that have been FDA approved are Amzeek and Zilksy. And I'm not sure if I'm saying those right, but that's my best guess at how to pronounce them. So starting with Amzeek, this is a topical foam treatment that was recently launched back in January of this year and is used to treat patients that suffer from acne. And if we look at how this drug has performed since launching, it's actually showed some pretty impressive growth, growing to almost 3,500 prescribers within the first five months. And that's with the absence of face-to-face -face selling due to the shutdowns across the country because of the global issue. And the biggest revenue driver for pharmaceutical companies is being able to get doctors to actually prescribe your products to patients. So the fact that they could go from zero to 3,500 prescribers in such a short time shows it's a drug that's effective at doing what it's meant to do. And if we look at the total addressable market for acne products like this, we'll see that it's actually a pretty massive market. So in 2019, there were 22 million total prescriptions made to patients to help treat acne. And this resulted in just over $5 billion in sales for these acne treatments. And in terms of total addressable market from a patient standpoint, there's an estimated 40 to 50 million people who suffer from acne, of which about 25% suffer from moderate to severe acne, with another 2 million patients being diagnosed and treated each and every year. So in total, there is definitely a huge market for this type of product. Now, if we look at their other FDA approved drug, Zilksy, this is a drug used to treat Rosakia. And again, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but essentially it's a skin condition that causes redness and visible blood vessels in your face and may also produce small bumps similar to that of like pimples. So looking at Zilksy, they have a massive market opportunity with this drug. If we look at their investor presentation slides, back in 2019, there were a total of 4.4 million prescriptions made to patients suffering from this skin condition with less than $1 billion in sales coming from those prescriptions. And of those patients prescribed, 73% indicated that they would be likely to switch to a different product if one was available. So there's definitely a market opportunity for them to take the lead in treating this skin condition. Now looking at their growth moving forward, I do think there is a big opportunity for them to have patients using their products for several years or even longer. If we look at their two main products, we can see that Amzeek is targeted to patients between ages 13 and 24, while Zilksy is targeted towards people ages 30 to 60. So between these two products, the potential patient age range is 13 to 60 years old, which for the most part covers most people. 
Now, the other growth opportunity I see is actually in their already FDA-approved drug, Amzeek. We can see that in their phase three trials, more than 95% of subjects treated with Amzeek had signs or symptoms classified as none or mild. And I personally know people who have tried other drugs to treat acne that ended up having severe side effects. So if this is a drug that can treat acne without those harsh side effects, then I can definitely see this being the go-to drug that doctors prescribe for their patients. Now, I do think it's important to note that they also have a drug currently called FCD-105, which just recently completed phase two trials this month, but will probably not be available on the commercial market for another few years. But I do think it'll be important to keep an eye on this new treatment. And this is because of how well it treats acne without the harsh side effects you get from traditional oral treatments. So I do think that this is a company that does have the potential to at least two or three X their stock price. Now, it might be a while before that happens, but I do see a lot of growth potential in the drugs that they're producing because these are much safer alternatives to other acne treatments that do have some harsh side effects. So I, this is definitely a company I will be keeping my eye on. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it does help out the YouTube channel. And make sure to let me know in the comments section if there's any stocks you want me to cover in my next video. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.